Hello everybody, my name is Marshall Rickman and today I will be teaching Timothy Roebuck here how to play the euphonium. Say hi to everyone, Timmy. Hey guys. Okay, Timmy, as you can see, I have a uh, euphonium case laid down on the ground. Now, as a young student, you'll probably try to run up and try to just open the case to try to get the horn out. But sometimes if you have the case upside down, when you open up the case, their horn will fall out and it can get damaged. So the best way to prevent that is to make sure you have it on the right side to where when you open the case, the instrument don't fall out, hit the ground, do damage. Now the best way to tell that is, uh, you see this uh, symbol right here? Yes. That's the mark of the maker of the instrument. And usually they put the make on top of the case, so that way you can have that on top and you know which side to have facing up when you go to open the instrument so it don't fall out. So why don't you go ahead and open the instrument up for us? There you go, now just gently have it open. Okay. So as you see, we got a euphonium. We got that, and right down here is the mouthpiece. Now, before our lesson, I took the liberty of uh, cleaning the mouthpiece. So that way, you know, no germs or anything could get on it while you play. Now, before you start playing, or even pick up the horn, we need to have you ready to play music. And you play sports and stuff, you've never really played music, so we're going to get your lungs built and uh, be ready to uh, play some music. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to do a couple of breathing exercises. Okay. But before we do the breathing exercises, we're going to start out with a little stretching. Right? What I want you to do is have your feet firmly on the floor. I want you to lift your hands up to the ceiling. I want you to breathe in and out, deep breaths, and as you do this, you're just going to twist your body. Okay, as you do this, now put your hands down by your waist, and just keep twisting your body. Now lean over, have your feet pointed to the ground, deep breaths as you do this. This is going to get stretched out. Now back up, hands up, and release. Okay, so now take your right arm, put it behind your head, and take deep breaths. And as you exhale, I want you to lean to the left. With every exhale you do, lean further to the left. Okay, now start coming back up, and release, shake out your shoulder, shake out your hand. Okay, now left arm behind your head, and now we're going to do the same thing, but this time lean to the right as you exhale. Okay, now start coming back up. Now shake it out. Okay, now we're going to do some breathing exercises to strengthen your lungs. What you're going to do is you're going to put your hand to your mouth. And this is going to be called your monitor. You're going to breathe in. And when you breathe in, the air going through your hand to your mouth is going to make a noise. So that way you know you're constantly bringing air in. And when you exhale, you're going to have your hand out. And you're going to want to feel the breath on your palm to know that you're keeping a constant exhale. So it's going to be like. <sighs> now what we're going to do, we're going to do one of these for eight counts, in for eight, out for eight. We're going to do two of them, in for four, out for four. And then we're going to do four, in for two, out for two. And we're going to do eight, in one, out one. I'll, I'll help you out on this. So remember, one, two, three, four is the beats. So, get your monitor up. One, two, ready, go. Okay, I'm gonna give you four preparatory beats and then you're gonna start breathing. One, two, ready, breathe. In, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and for four. One, two, Three and out. Two, three, four. In, two, three, 
four, out, two, three, four, in for two, one, two, out, two, in, two, out, two, in, two, out, two, in, two, out, two, in for one, out for one, 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 in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Okay, now just taking a deep breath and just let it all out and be relaxed. Okay, now after that, that should have stretched your lungs and have you ready to breathe. Now before we can start playing on the instrument, we're going to have to teach you how first to sit proper and hold the horn before you can start playing. Now, take a seat. What you're going to want to do is sit on the front side of your chair. You're going to want to have your back straight up and your feet firmly flat on the ground. Okay, this is how you should sit while you play always. Now, I want you to gently pick up the horn. Okay, now what you're going to want to do, is it okay if I, like, help you move your hands and stuff? Yeah. Okay. What you're going to do is you're going to want to have your left hand up here around the tuning slides, and you're going to want to put your thumb through there and your fingers on here. And you, when you have the mouthpiece in, you're going to lift it up, and you want to bring the horn to you. You don't want to move your head to the horn. You want to have it to where the mouthpiece can touch your mouth. Okay. This is how you should hold the horn. Now, we're going to start with mouthpiece buzzing. All right, just sit your horn gently back in the case. All right, and uh, now just get out your mouthpiece. And before we did this, I took the liberty of cleaning out your mouthpiece, making sure there are no germs in it. Okay, so what you're going to want to do, first, what I want you to do is say the word yep. Yep. Okay, keep your face firm. Yep. Yep. To make the sound mmm. Mmm. And then you go. <laughs> no, not. <laughs> <laughs> not poo. Like a dough. Say dough when you're doing. Dough. Dough. There. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to put the mouthpiece up in your mouth. I want you to go yep. Yep. Mmm. Mmm. And then. There you go. Now, when you do this, make sure you're using a do syllable. And make sure when you do this, always start with enough air supply. Don't be shy. Blow air through this. That's the main thing you got to do. Make sure you have enough air in this. You're just going to want to take a deep breath in. And use a do syllable when you blow out, like. <sighs> that was good, except one thing. When you do this, make sure you have the mouthpiece up to your mouth when you uh, do it. And then you click the breath while the mouthpiece is up. <sighs> there you go. And make sure when you take your breath in, that as soon as you're done with the breath, you immediately blow through. Don't go, hold, then blow. It's like, okay, don't puff out the cheeks either. Keep your cheeks uh, firm. Don't let them puff out. Use all your, move all the air through your mouthpiece. There you go. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do a little exercise on the uh, mouthpiece. We're going to call it sirens. And what it is, is you're going to be doing this. And how you do that is when you play lower notes, you use, uh, you use the same amount of air for both. But for the lower notes, you use hotter air. Like, you know how, like, when it's cold and, uh, you just blow and you see the steam come out of your mouth, you're just like, <sighs> that's the kind of air, warm, comfortable air you want to use while playing low notes, but the higher you get, the faster air you want to use, so it's like, <sighs> so 
So when you do the sirens, you don't want to have your mouth doing all kinds of wacky things while you're doing this. You just want to start out with warm, comfortable air, and you want to blow faster air as you get higher, and then you just want to blow warmer air as you get down. So let me hear you try it. Go. Now, you may want to tighten up your lips a little bit. Don't like pinch them, just like tighten up a little as you get higher, but make sure you have enough air going through so your lips can still vibrate. That's good. And uh, one thing too, don't like jam the mouthpiece in your mouth. Remember, to play notes on a brass instrument, you have to buzz your lips. And if like you have a hard piece of metal jammed against your mouth, you can't buzz. So you just want to have it lightly rest on there. There we go. That's good. Very good.